Frank? <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I am excited to share this product today. This is the Heat Pod Sauna Blanket from Hydragun. Now, first things first, to full disclosure, uh, this was a product that was sent to me for free by Hydragun and some of their team members. Uh, they reached out and asked if I wanted to try the product and told me they'd send me one uh, free of charge. So there's no content in this video that they're gonna get to see or preview before I show it to all of you. All of these thoughts are my own, but again, this product was given to me for free. You'll see here, everything's packaged really nicely. Right, Charlie? Everything's just neatly tucked into these little boxes and packages and compartments. Uh, and it just makes it feel a little bit more high end and just a little bit more of, I think, what people are expecting if they're going for an expensive or higher quality or higher end product. Now, right out of the box, there's no charging, there's no anything, there's very few pieces. It's really just the blanket itself, the cable, which includes the remote control to turn it on, to set the settings up before you go in, uh, the little user manual, and the to-go bag. That's really it. So right out of the box, you can pop it out, plug it in, and you're ready to go. I did use it the first day that I got it, and I gotta say, it's really simple to set up. On the foot side of the sauna blanket, there's this little port. You plug that in, you plug the other end into the normal US wall socket in my case, you're ready to go. The remote turns on, you can power it up, you can turn the heat settings up or down, and ultimately you can set the timer for how long you wanna be inside. Honestly, I'll just tell you, I'm not somebody who's generally using a sauna. Um, to me, personally, it's sort of a higher end product, something you might find in a really fancy house in the United States, maybe like a vacation rental that has a nice extra room with like a pool table and a sauna. Like that's the kind of environment I think we see this more in the United States. It's gonna be a higher end gym, something like Equinox, um, maybe like a New York sports club in the city, you know, Blink Fitness, Planet Fitness, all those other options that I'm used to don't really have it. So it's kind of a luxury category. And you know, again, that's for me why I just haven't really been a part of it. I know other countries use saunas all the time. They see the benefits of saunas. They believe in doing it really daily. And that's just not what it is so much in the US. So this is a way to bring that to my everyday life. And so far I've been using it a lot. Now with my experience level with saunas, I'm not gonna set out to prove or disprove whether they are good for your overall health, you know, systemic health, cell health, circulation, blood flow, recovery, all those things. Those are all benefits that are, you know, advertised with this product. Uh, improved recovery after workouts or gym sessions or from in my case, you know, long runs, things like that. And then claims that it will help with relaxation, overall reduction in tension and stress and things like that. So those are some of the claims. They're probably claims that are made about saunas in general, about something like this as a portable sauna blanket. I'll just talk about my experiences quick. First, I will say the relaxation portion I find to be very true. I actually mentioned in my last video, I came out of it just the first time I ever tried it, feeling very, very zen, <laughs> relaxed. Uh, I felt like I needed just a moment to really stand up again and gather myself. It was a very relaxing feeling, almost like coming out of a massage if you're used to or have ever gone to get a professional massage. You know, they tell you to stand up slowly. You've been relaxed for a while. They've been working on your muscles, relieving that tension, and it just takes a minute to get out of that state. So this truly did put me in that kind of a mental place of relaxation and, um, you know, just sort of needed a moment to come out of it each time that I used it, which is nice. It's a relaxing environment and experience. Next, again, for me, I've been going into the gym a little bit more recently because the running is very low volume or no volume right now. Still working on a few things with the, the last marathons and injuries that I kind of developed over the last year. So in reintroducing those heavier lifts in the gym, my upper body and things that just aren't used to lifting as much become very sore. Uh, and then I think that's pretty natural. Anytime you go and you start doing workouts that your body's not used to, you just get that soreness. It's not a bad soreness, it's not a pain, it's just, oops, I used those muscles for the first time in a long time and for the next few days I'm gonna be stiff and sore. I've felt that that has also been improved, you know, just with frequent use of this sauna blanket. 
Um, again, I'm not going to claim or, or say one way that it would have been better or worse with or without the sauna blanket, but I just do feel that overall I've recovered well in those senses after using you know different equipment in the gym that I'm just not used to using so much up until this last week or so. So it's been helping me improve my recovery, helping definitely with some relaxation and just sort of meditative moments. It almost feels like inside of the heat pod sauna blanket. But yeah, that's just a general overview. That's really what I can say about how I felt using the product. Now let's talk about the quality overall, how it's been to, you know, use it. Has there been any snags or issues? And, you know, overall, I got to say, no, it's been perfect. Uh, it really has been no issues, nothing that I needed to reach out to the team for, look for support. It's very simple to use. The carrying bag makes it really convenient, again, to store it in a closet. I could honestly toss it in the trunk of a car very easily. Uh, and I've been tossing it around, you know, I'm not delicate with stuff. Uh, especially if I'm going to be testing something that I'm using to share a review with all of you. I'm generally going to just chuck it around, throw it in a closet, throw it in the trunk of my car and see what happens because it's got to live up to the test of life and I'm trying to simulate life in like one week. Uh, but overall, again, it's held up really well. Now the materials, the zippers, the actual liner on the inside, all super comfortable no skin irritation whatsoever for me. I was also very aware of, you know, feeling with the, in, you know, inside the pod with my hands, if any spots really felt like they were getting very hot and that didn't happen. You know, I just wanted to make sure and feel because ultimately I was in a t-shirt, shorts, and socks for most of my sessions. I just wanted to make sure nothing was getting too hot to the touch where it felt like it was going to burn me. And that was never the case. It seems to really distribute the heat well within the heat pod, but not actually create any hot spots that you would worry about burning yourself or anything like that. The temperature range of the blanket is from 86 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. I used it within a range of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit to start, which really didn't even get me sweating. It just was a warm blanket, like it was a warm pod. I came out feeling very relaxed, not really sweating. And I've gotten up to, at this point, about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And it, you can use it from any period of time between uh, five and 60 minutes is the max that it'll let you, you know, set the timer for and turn on on its own. Any longer than that, you know, could get dangerous, especially if you like fell asleep in it and just it kept heating your body and making you sweat for a long period of time. So that's the time range and the heat range. And again, I've used it up to about 160 where it will start to cause, you know, some sweat and everything. And I know that's why some people use the sauna. So that's about the range where I found it kicked in for me and really had me sweating and I used it for about 40 minutes that time. Uh, anything longer again just because I haven't been in a sauna that much before has started to feel like a little bit too much but they do tell you to work your way up in both temperature and time and you know your body will adjust and you'll be better used to it or better prepared for you know that heat pod sauna environment. Now, as far as the cleanup, it's really easy. Uh, the zipper on both the carrying case and the sauna pod blanket itself are, you know, it goes full range, so it actually unzips completely. You don't have to reach in awkwardly or try and, you know, wipe off or wash off any surfaces that aren't, you know, easily accessible and exposable to, you know, open air. So it makes it very easy to wipe down, clean up. And generally, I've just used a cloth and it hasn't really been smelly or appeared unclean in any way since then. You can also use mild soaps or, you know, just gentle cleaning wipes if you wanted to go a step further from just, you know, a dry cloth. And I was joking about putting it back in the bag and how putting things back in the box that came in can be difficult. But honestly, I'll show you right here right now, a couple folds, you just remember this, or you can refer back to the video and boom, it fits back in the bag. No problems, really no questions or concerns there. I think the quality is excellent. Again, I said the zippers, the material, everything is really feeling top of the line. The carrying case itself is, you know, adequate. It's not some superior material as far as the carrying case, but it does the job and it's industrial and it feels like it's, you know, tear resistant, rip resistant, and could take a beating again when I'm traveling if I was to throw it in a car or something on the go. The most important thing to me when you look at either fitness equipment or recovery equipment that's on the higher end of the price range is, are you actually gonna use it, right? And I can say without a doubt for myself, the ease of taking it out of the bag, the ease of using it, this is something that I would personally use after every gym session and after all of my maybe long, middle to longer distance runs going forward. 
it just feels like there's enough of a benefit, right? Whether you believe or not how much of a benefit that sauna as a general uh, tool really is aiding in recovery, you know, it's, it's worth a shot. I think a lot of us who are pushing the limits of our own bodies, running marathons, running long distance races, you know, there's a lot of wear and tear on us. So if there's any hint of recovery possibilities that are a benefit from this product, you know, why not? Why aren't I going to use it the same way I use a foam roller, the same way I use my, you know, uh, gun to massage my muscles, the same way I stretch, all those little things, you know, if we're going to have the tools available to us, why not use them to get the most out of ourselves? And again, I know I'm saying that with this product here next to me that was given to me for free, but with the holidays coming up, you know, maybe you can find someone to get it for you as a gift. And honestly, again, to myself being in the United States, the sauna is already sort of a higher end product to me. I picture people who have access to a sauna as already having a little bit more money than the general population with a little bit of money to spend. So if you're in that group, if you're someone who's looking for that sauna experience on a regular basis after a workout, or you want to be able to bring that into your home, I think this is a great way to do it. And again, for someone who really just hasn't had access to a sauna, it might also be a good way to access a sauna-like experience for those of us that don't really have access to a full-size sauna at a gym, a country club, or, you know, again, just in our homes. So I think ultimately that sums up my experience. One improvement that I do have or suggestion for the team at Hydragun to make this a little bit better is I do find that obviously some of the heat escapes on the shoulder, neck, and head side of the you know, sleeping bag like sauna blanket, but maybe a little bit of Velcro or something uh, that could just help wrap around your shoulders, right? I'm a bigger guy and you know the size of my chest and shoulders, it really lifts up the blanket and that's just a lot of room for heat to escape. So maybe some way to help trap that in would make the temperature just a little bit more balanced between my upper body and my lower body but it's never really been an issue I do feel the warmth and benefit of the sauna blanket in general on my upper body either way still something I would highly recommend if someone could afford it and has access to it I think it's going to be a tool that I use a lot going forward so that's all I have on the Hydragun Heat Pod Sauna Blanket. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to the Hydragun team for thinking of me and sending this product my way. I'm very happy with it. And for the rest of you following my channel, I'll share more about my physical therapy soon. But with that, that's really all I got. I've been talking for a while and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.